Are you tired of getting copy struck every time you go to do a live stream? Tired of using the same old copyrighted tracks for every single award ceremony or speaker introduction on your live streams or virtual events? Well, good news. Today, we're gonna cover the easiest, fastest way to create a custom soundtrack for your live stream, virtual or hybrid conference or event. Stay tuned. So a big challenge you've probably run into if you've ever tried to organize a conference, an event, a live stream, is the music behind that, right? The music can set the tone and convey a certain mood to your audience. But what music should you use? If you're streaming on YouTube, well, it's easy. You can use the YouTube audio library and you don't have to worry about copyright restrictions. But if you want to use that audio and videos off of YouTube, the guidance is a little bit fuzzy. What about using copyrighted music? Well, the problem there is you run the risk of a copyright strike on your channel. The biggest problem with using copyrighted music in your videos, whether they are live streams, whether they are recordings of a virtual event or a hybrid event, is that when you go to post those videos on other platforms, say YouTube, you run the risk of getting a copyright strike. So your video might not be allowed at all to stay up. Not only is using copyrighted music kind of a pain, chances are you're using the same track that has been used a million other times and it's becoming cliche. So what's the alternative to copyrighted music? Artificial intelligence. What I'm gonna show you in this video is how to make a custom soundtrack for your virtual event or live stream fast by just selecting a couple properties. Let's jump into it. So here I am at the SoundRaw website. So this is a software as a service where you can go in, select a couple of properties and make custom music. If you've been watching my YouTube channel for a little while, you may have seen some of the posts I did about the Forest City Road Races. This was a marathon charity event that raised over $75,000 for our local children's center. For this event, I actually used SoundRaw to make a custom soundtrack along with victory themes and introduction themes for each of the races. I hope to see you back here in an hour and 30 minutes. And then we're ready to go. Here we go. So uh, I've linked some of the videos in the description below if you want to see a little bit more behind the scenes what we did. What I'm gonna show you here is how I made that custom soundtrack. So when I come into the SoundRaw website, I've already bought a license, I bought a yearly subscription. I've This has all been paid for out of my own pocket. This is not sponsored. I just like this service so much. I'm gonna come into the SoundRaw website, soundraw.io, and click Create Music. So what are we gonna create here? Well, I'm gonna choose the length. In this case, I wanna say, I wanna make some five minute long songs because I want a good amount of music that I can work with. I am gonna want something that is a little bit more up tempo. So I'm gonna go with uh, normal and fast. And let's see, I want all, I've got all these different moods that I can choose from here. Ah, oh, perfect, they have a mood called running. Now SoundRaw will go away and it's going to try and create a few music tracks for me. In fact, it's gonna generate, I believe 10 tracks or 15 tracks in total and I can create more if I'm not satisfied with these tracks. Okay, I've got 15 tracks. Let's take a quick listen to a couple of these tracks and see what SoundRaw has given us. This is doing something for me. Uh, first track already, it's doing something for me. Notice too that when I click on the track, I get this editor that pops up down here. 
And I can see for each of the different segments, the intensity of these segments. So for example, if I play this medium segment, so I can hear that it's kind of a medium energy part, I can click on the uh, title here at the bottom and it will adjust the energy. So listen to the difference. And if I switch it to very high, there's a lot going on versus the low. Listen to the low, I'll click on it. Yeah, that's doing something for me. So already I can customize this track uh, based on what my own, based on my needs. So I'm gonna say low, medium, very high, very high, low, high. And I can see how this track changes over time. So not bad, not bad. If I need to go into more fine grain control, I can turn on this pro mode here and actually say, what is the intensity of all of these tracks, all of these instruments? So for the low energy, you'll see that the melody backing and bass is highlighted in this light blue. This is to say that this is a low energy, uh, these are low intensity versions of these instruments. And then the drums are gray, they're completely off. So if I play this segment and click the drums, Not bad, so it fills in the drums a little bit. If I click it again, it turns solid blue. And if we take a listen. Nice, so it increases the energy. And then I've also got options for the fills. Now, you also get control. You can make the song longer, you can make it shorter. You can adjust the beats per minute. So if 120 is a little bit too slow, maybe we'll take it up to 140 and see how that changes the feel of this track. Let's do that. It's going to adjust the entire track, put it to 140 beats per minute. Higher beats per minute equals a faster song. So let's listen to it now. That might be a little bit too fast for kind of the genre we're, we're working with. I'm not sure, this is not doing, it's not doing for me what it was before. Yeah, it might, I think 140 is a little bit too fast. I'm gonna back that back down to 120. I can also adjust the key, so I get uh, three keys I can work with. So adjust that back down to 120 beats per minute. I'm gonna put this in the third key, key 03, and we'll see what that sounds like. Interesting, that changes the mood of the song real fast, doesn't it? Hmm. Okay. So sometimes this pro, the messing with the track works out, sometimes it doesn't. All right, that's our first track. Let's go down here. This is one of the things I love about using an AI tool like SoundRaw for generating a soundtrack is I can make a whole bunch of songs real fast. So instead of spending hours tweaking one song, I just you know get 15 examples and then start remixing based on what I hear and what I like. So I'm gonna play the second track here. Not my thing, not my thing. What about this one, third? This is a tropical house track. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, not bad. All right, I got a techno track here. Now, I personally like techno, so this is already doing something for me. So these tracks are not bad. They're a pretty good start, I'd say. But I think we can do a little bit better. Now I've got one that's 184 beats per minute here. Drums and bass, electro and dance. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now we're talking, that is a running track. Yes, please, I like this. All right. That's pretty good. That's getting closer to what we want. I'm gonna come back up to the top here. Let me show you. Right now we've just got running selected, but I can come in here and select say a specific genre that I want to have uh, generated, or I can select a theme. I'm gonna go with motivational and inspiring. Sound draw is gonna go away. It's gonna generate some songs that have the mood of running, the theme of motivational and inspiration and inspiring with a normal or fast tempo. So let's listen to one of these tracks that's generated. 
list can you hear it already it sounds this track already sounds like it's uh like a higher pitch a more happy a more inspiring track this already sounds better to my ears i like this what about this techno or what about this tropical house track nice Yeah, that's a nice backing track. I like that. Maybe a little verge on being a little bit too slow, but not bad. What about this? Uh, there's a rock track here. Can you hear it? It's inspiring. I like it. There's the drums. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we can use this. We could use this. So if I like a track, I can hit the heart button here to add this to my keep list. So that way I can go back to it later on and say, I want to either download this or I'm going to make songs based on this song. We're almost there. What about this electro? So electro and dance and beats. Ooh. Yes, please. I want more of this. This is a pretty good one. I think we could make something out of this one. And then there's one more electro and dance here. That's 160 beats per minute. That's a fast track. That's got a nice intro to it. I like it. I'm getting pumped up. So I'm going to keep both of these tracks here. Yeah, nice. All right, so for this track, track six here, I like this track. So I'm going to say create similar music. And what that's going to tell SoundDraw is take this kind of track and make more of these, make more along the same vein. So let's see. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Nice. Tropical house. Tropical house coming through. So that's another thing I like with Sound Raw is that once I find a genre that works, I can say I can select that as part of my genres. And then I'm going to start generating basically nothing except that uh, genres. So let's see. Trop yeah, tropical house. This is... This seems to be a good genre for kind of that running motivational music. See, it's working for me. Let's see. Ooh, nice. All right, so once I found a track that I really like, and I'm happy with it. I can click on the download music button. It's going to prepare the download and give me an uncompressed WAV file. This is a super high quality sound file that I can then go use in, say, my live streams, in post-production, wherever I need to use this. So this is how, this is just a quick tutorial on how you can create a soundtrack real fast. So after that's done downloading, I can then go use it. Now, what if I want to create, say, jingles or themes for, say, an award ceremony? I'm going to take this length and I'm going to bring it down to 15 seconds. Not bad. Not bad. So that is rock and pop. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Oh yeah, Tokyo Night Pop. That generally produces some good results. I like that genre. Ooh, that could be a nice theme.
a lot a genre that I had a lot of luck with when I was generating themes and soundtracks for this event in particular was what was called Future House. So I'm going to add the house genre here. And let's see. Ooh. Might not be Future House, but that sounds good. Nice. That's very similar to what we generated for uh, the road races. Now I can also come into pro mode and I can select different instruments as well. So maybe I'll select synth, but see how you can play around with this. So now I'm gonna sit, hit generate similar music and let's see what we get from this. So, oh, nice. So we get lots of different theme songs here or jingles for say winning or starting a race. Ooh. Nice. Now if I like the this track, like say I I've, I've got a, you know, a theme song here and I like I like this track, maybe I want to make it longer, I can come into the Pro Tools again and hit that length button and boom, I can now turn this into a full song. Notice how it, how I get this, uh, how I get the song filled in. So I get the different energy levels filled in for me. So, oh, this is so cool. Yeah, we got a nice track out of this. I like it. So to recap, the steps involved to get your own custom soundtrack. Number one, get a soundraw.io account. Go get a soundraw.io account. Step two, think about the kind of music that you want to generate. What's I like to start with the mood and the tempo, along with the uh, length of the song. So how long do you want your songs to be? Three to five minutes is a nice starting point that gives you some nice backing tracks. Once you generate a few tracks, listen to them back, see how they sound. Are they speaking to you? Are they capturing the theme of your event? If they are, start generating similar music. Look for the different genres that seem to sound good. So don't just limit yourself to say, you know, techno or house, listen to a whole bunch of genres, see what they sound like. And remember, SoundRaw can generate you a ton of music at once. It's generating me 15 tracks at once. So don't get too hung up if you hear a few tracks that don't work for you. When I was generating our soundtrack for the Four City Road Races, I would say probably one in every 10 songs I would keep. The other ones I would just discard and keep moving on. So that's one of the benefits of using an AI tool to generate music like SoundRaw. You don't have to get all hung up on finding the best track every time you generate tracks. Generate a whole whack of them. See which ones speak to you. That's it for now. If you are organizing a virtual or hybrid event, like a trade show or a live stream or a charity marathon, you're not sure where to start or you want to make sure that it is memorable and profitable, we need to have a chat. Link in the description below. Check us out at tractusevents.com. My name is Elias Purinen. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please like and subscribe to our channel, and I will see you next time.